day to everyone out there, especially to our grade 6 pupils. This is Teacher Daisy Jean Pantoja Piquito from NASA Elementary School. I am so excited to be with you and to explore the world of science. Find your most comfortable place where you may stay and participate with me throughout the lesson. Are you ready to learn something new? Come and learn with me! But before we start with our lesson, let us have a review. Directions Read the statements carefully. Write hep hep if the statement is correct and hooray if it is wrong. 1. Work is a form of energy. 2. Heat is always produced in energy transformation. 3. Energy is the ability to do work. 4. Digestion of food is an example of radiant energy. 5. Kinetic energy is energy in motion. At the end of the lesson, you're expected to identify the different types of simple machines and describe the characteristics of each. This time, you are going to find a hidden word. To open each box, you are going to tell it first what kind of energy is shown in each picture. You are going to open all the boxes to come up with the correct hidden word. Grade 6 pupils, you have given the correct hidden word. Now, study the illustration and answer the following questions. 1. What can you say about the picture? 2. How energy transferred using the scissors? 3. Identify what kind of energy is being transferred? I am so happy for all your answers in the given questions. Good job, grade 6 pupils! Daily life, we want to do everything faster and better. We want to make our work easier. Let's discuss about simple machine, its characteristics, and its uses. What do we usually use when we want to cut paper? Open a bottle of soft drinks or slice a piece of cake. Simple machines are tools that make work easier. It allows the user to accomplish more work while expending less energy. Types of simple machines Pulley Consists of a string or rope wrapped around the wheel with one end of the string attached to an object and the other end attached to a person or a motor. A pulley is used to lift something up, especially to lift the heavy objects. Examples, window blinds, flagpoles, zip line, crane. Lever a device consisting the fixed movable point called the fulcrum, a force that lifts the load called effort, and the force that is being lifted by the effort called load. Lever make it easier to lift heavy materials, remove tight objects, and cut items. Examples, broom, bottle opener, can opener, seesaw, scissors. Wedge. A double inclined plane that is sharpened to an end. It can be used to separate two objects or portions of an object, lift an object, or hold an object in place. 
The thinner the wedge is, the lesser effort is needed to cut objects. Examples Fork, knife, peeler, nail, pin, and needle. Wheel and axle Consist of a round disc known as a wheel with a rod through the center of it known as the axle. It is a type of lever that moves in a circle around a fulcrum. It has many uses in our daily lives. Cars, pencil sharpeners, fans, and inline skates all use the wheel and axle. Examples, electric fan, doorknob, wheelbarrow, and push cart. Inclined plane, a flat surface with one end higher than the other. It allows for heavy objects to slide up to a higher point rather than be lifted. It has a sloping surface used to lift an object. Lifting the object using an inclined plane means you use less force to do work. Examples Ladder, stairs, slanted roof, ramp, and slide. Screw A simple machine with threaded surface and a point on one end and a slatted head which holds or fasten two things together. Examples Jar lid, light bulb, bottle cups, and faucet. This time, we will have a game. The title of our game is What Am I? You are going to identify the correct word being described in each sentence. Are you excited? If you are, the game starts now. Directions Tell what is being described in each sentence. 1. I have a sloping surface. 2. I am consisting of full chrome, effort, and load. 3. I am a modified wheel and axle. 4. I am used to fasten two things together. Number 5. I am a double inclined plane sharpened to an end. I am sure that you did good in identifying what is being described in each sentence. This time, you are going to apply what you have learned from our lesson for today. Here is the rubric for your activity. This will serve as your guide in doing the task. To sum up your learning, what are the different types of simple machine? How will you describe each of simple machine? Well done kids! I know you are ready for our evaluation. I am so happy for the result of your evaluation. It really shows that you learned and understand our topic for today. And now for your assignment, give three safety measures in handling simple machine. I 
I hope you gain a lot of learning in our lesson. That's all for today. God bless and keep safe.